This neighborhood makes yours look like Astor Street. Well, this was your recommendation. Link's the best bindle stitch guy in the world. You got a problem with your footwear, you bring it to Link. I agree. These boots are as good as new. It's probably the best $125 I ever parted with. You know, that's something I'll never understand, why anybody would spend $125 to fix up a sneaky old pair of Mountie boots. Oh, Ray, Ray, Ray. Properly molded boots are Mountie's prized possession. Well, that and his horse. Well, we're not picking up your horse. I don't have a horse. I mean, not here. Well, you know, you ought to think about getting one, because I'm getting really tired of driving you around. Ray, that was a gunshot. Yeah, if we stop for every gunshot we hear in this neighborhood, we'll never get home. See? Uh, I'm off duty! You have no jurisdiction! Oh, pardon me. Excuse me, young man. You're carrying a... I'll get the shooter. I'll get the shooter. Hold on. Hold on! Give it up, man! I can run all day! Don't let me take you down, man! Did this to you. Nobody. Just hold that there. Call 911! Is there a phone nearby? Drop the weapon. Unless you can fly. I hate this neighborhood! Put your hands on your head! Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Let's just hope my car is still there. Ray, this was worth it. We saved a life, you made an arrest, and the neighborhood is a safer place. Oh dear. What? My boots are gone. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for a pair of boots. 
RCMP regulation issues. I, mean, I suppose you wouldn't be familiar with them. They're uh, just like the man on the horse is wearing, only uh, mine, are, mine are somewhat uh, older and therefore more faded. Um, Well, no matter what you may think, I remain undeterred. I'm convinced that somebody took them in for safekeeping and that they're spending as much time looking for me as I'm spending looking for them. Uh, excuse me, sir. The residents of this unit would appear to be home, yet they're not answering their door. Well, uh, ain't that a shock. Were you home uh, yesterday at the time of the incident? Man, let me tell you something. I didn't hear a thing. Well, actually, I, I, I'm looking for a pair of, um... Right. Let's go. Are you deaf? I mean, I know you are literally deaf. Oh, forget it. All right, come on. I'm not having any success. Let's see how you do. Yeah. Or would you rather go back to knocking on doors? <laughs> yes, I see what you mean. These sneakers don't breathe quite the way my boots did. Mm -hmm. Okay, pick up the scent. That's it. Good boy. Good morning, gentlemen. Yeah, you heard moose or something? I uh, know, boots, actually. You wouldn't have seen someone wandering around. Yeah, yo, check it. I can give you $200 Nikes for $50. Well, now that offer sounds almost too good to be true, but I'm really only interested in boots. So. Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> Baker, for God's sakes, you're tracking the wrong thing. You're tracking my feet, not my boots. You know my feet were there, my boots were... Oh, forget it. I don't need a ride. Look, Lou would like to talk to you, man. Do I know Lou? First you meet him, then you'll get to know him. Get in. Very well. Hey, hey, no, no dogs in here, man. He's a wolf. Man can't walk down the street in this part of town without getting harassed. You were running. I didn't see no foot traffic speed limit. You were carrying a gun and running from a shooting victim. He say that? You know as well as I do, he didn't say that. Look, I was carrying a gun so I wouldn't wind up a shooting victim. Right. All right, baby, here yeah. we go, here we go. Ah! Uh, that pig, baby, here we go. Oh, it's Dan Drives Lane! Oh my God, reverse play up! Did anybody stop this teenage down in my mom? I honestly don't think so, Dick. Play the game, Ricky, not the crowd, man! Where y'all find him? You see that? Fine play. He's a hot dog. He's a punk. They're gonna be double teaming him in eight seconds. Are you their coach? <laughs> hey, these kids, they are hope. I watch out for them. I provide the ball, a few burgers, a place to stay if they need it. You can look at me as a corporate sponsor. Check out the sweats I got. It's very magnanimous of you. Magnanimous? Hey. I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Come on, Inside, Reggie! Look for the ball! Over here. He's so dependent on his setup, man. Hmm. He's not here, he just freaks. Where is his setup, man? Hmm. You busted him. Ah. Hmm. So who are you? What do you want? Benton Fraser. I'm a Mountie. <laughs> Why they call you that? Well, it's short for Royal Canadian Mounted Police. So you're mounted. 
No, uh, we mount horses, on occasion. Perhaps you're familiar with the musical Then in all factuality, aren't the horses the mounties then? No, you see, we are mounted on top of horses. It's historical. So my peoples tell me you've been snooping around where the shooting went down. You looking for something? As a matter of fact, yes, I'm looking for my boots. We'll let you know if we find anything. It's been a, been a pleasure speaking with you. Get it in the Reggie! Reggie! Produce that garbage you're gonna be sweeping up your pop's barbershop for a long time in your short, stupid life! It's good news, Ray. He didn't do it. No. Not this time. Not what this time? Look, somebody shot someone, right? Yes. And I have responsibility to catch that someone that shot the other someone, right? Yes. And if I catch that someone, it's good news, right? Yes. Okay. Now, if that person turns out to be the wrong person, does that mean that there was no shooting? No. Does that mean that no one was almost killed? No. Does that mean that there's one less bad guy in the world? No. Right. It just means that the real bad guy is still out there instead of locked up somewhere safe. So by you coming in here and telling me that our guy is innocent, this is just not good news. I'm, I'm sorry. I see what you're driving at, and I stand corrected. It is bad news. He didn't do it. Look, Frazier, kids from that neighborhood, generally speaking, end up doing one of two things, basketball or crime. Tyree plays basketball. Well, they all start out playing basketball, but if one of them is lucky enough, he'll make it to Division I college ball. But if he's not talented enough, if he's not tall enough, if he's not dedicated enough, he's going to wind up like that kid and make life miserable for everyone else. Ray, please, look at this. What's that supposed to be? Evidence? The shooter wore this. Well, let's hope that's not all he wore. Gray, different shade? Different material? Actually, no. Then bag it and add it to my case file. Right. Left-handed. What's left-handed? The thread? No, no. The shooter. Aren't you even interested in knowing how I know the shooter's left-handed? Indulge me. What hand? I know what you think. He hasn't made one right-handed shot. Is this your way of admitting you're wrong? No, it's my way of suggesting the young man is extremely dedicated. He's practicing his weaknesses, not his strengths. He's making left-handed shots because he is right-handed. All right, I'll buy that. Explain this. Ballistics report. Gun matches the bullet that went through the victim. Your boy's fingerprints are all over the trigger. Well, we know he held the gun, Ray, because we found it on it. One page. Paraffin test. Gunpowder blowback all over his hands. He fired that gun, Frazier. All the tests match him to the shooter. So for the next hour, I'm going to treat myself to thinking that he's the guy. Ray, what if... Look, 60 minutes, all right? Just don't talk to me for one hour. I'm not asking you to tell me the truth. If you had wished the truth to be known, then I think you would have been more forthcoming with the authorities. So obviously, you have reason to fear the truth. But I think you're in some kind of trouble. Well, manifestly, you're in trouble. You've been charged with a capital crime. But that's not the kind of trouble that I'm actually referring to. You know, it might help, perhaps, if you simply told us why it is you're not telling us the truth. And, of course, if you were to tell me why you're not telling us the truth, that would probably indicate what the truth might actually be. And you realize I'm not actually asking you to tell me the truth. Do you talk English? Uh, Canadian, actually. Yo, Tyree! Well, perhaps we could speak later. Don't count on it. All right. Hey, Reggie. Thanks for the ride. Hey, the least I could do for a fine young man with a noble heart Helping to assist his friend achieve personal greatness. <laughs> that was him. Yes. He's out. Yes. He made bail. Yes. Well, where did the punk get the money? I lent it to him. What's wrong with your pal, Vecchio? You can't think straight without his boots on? Well, I don't believe the loss of my boots has affected my ability to think, Detective Fury. 
However, uh, now that you bring it up, if you should happen to see my boots in any course or I don't, time, Constable, because you don't even want to think about where I'd like to put them. Pipe down, Jack. In case you haven't noticed, your popularity rating around here is at an all-time low. The young man is innocent, right? No, you think he is innocent, which is still no reason to bail him out by yourself. Now, the next time you do something like that, you want to run it by me first? Well, I would have, but you told me to stay away from you for an hour. I'm Detective. Thank you for taking time out from your busy schedule to confer with me. Anytime, sir. It must be even busier since your Canadian friend decided to release that dangerous felon that worked so hard to incarcerate. I'd like to explain that, Lieutenant. You see, the young man has an extremely important basketball game scheduled. Oh, I, I see. So if Charles Manson had a kazoo concert scheduled, you would have bailed him out, too? I don't think so, sir. Uh, furthermore, I believe that the evidence will support my theory uh, concerning the young man. Well, why don't we let the courts decide that, Constable? You see, he's due for a prelim in a few hours, and if he doesn't show up, you are out a lot of money. And you are in for a long, long stay in my doghouse. Understood? You know what? You did a little good turn, baby. You his man. You know, you my man, baby. And the good times are gonna roll in the clubhouse tonight, Marv. Well, these fellas have earned a dick. What, man? Such an idiot, Reggie. And you? I can afford to be an idiot. I ain't going nowhere. You got these college coaches licking your Nikes, man. You got a future. Me? All I got is a messed up shoulder. Now, what coach is gonna give me the time of day? Poor baby. Let's be out, man. Come on. You see that, Benny? The next five blocks down is the turf of the 2-4 Dragons. Now, if you're not a member of that gang and you cross this street, you're gonna wind up getting shot. Now, that's what happened to Taylor Thomas, left-handed threat or not. But Tyree was not the shooter, Ray. Then why was he carrying a gun? I don't know. Then why did he shoot the gun? I don't know. Then why did he make me chase him? Well, I haven't figured that out yet. Ah, well, at least we're getting somewhere. Yes, it's encouraging, isn't it? Rebound! Give it to me, dog. Here we go, baby. <laughs> oh, that's too bad for you. Set it up for you, baby. Right. Set it up. Go ahead, man. Oh! That's what I'm talking about right there. One, two, punch, Let's baby. It again, man. That's it. Hmm. Tyreek. Come here a minute. The bullet was extracted from the wall here, which would mean that the gunman had to be where you're standing. Because this is where you found the threat. It had rained earlier that day. The wind was from the southwest, yet the thread was dry. There was no sign of mold. Also, the footprints at the site would indicate that a man approximately 79.5 kilos stood there sometime after the deluge. Well, that could have been anybody. Now, here's how I see it. What the hell you think you're doing? This is my hood. Tyree fires the first shot and misses. The victim fires back, misses by a mile, hits a garbage can. Tyree fires again and nails him, bada bing. What did you just say? What? You said, bada bing. Yeah, don't they say that in Canada? No, no, just listen to the sound of that. Bada bing. What? Well, remember back to yesterday. The first two shots had the same sound. The third shot was the bing. See, your scenario doesn't hold up, Ray. The bing was the shot that hit the garbage can. Not the second shot, that was a bang. Oh, and the judge is gonna love this. Your Honor, we have no case because the bang is where the bing should have been. The sounds don't lie, Ray. All right, then tell me this. How does the bang being where the bing should have been no, have no, anything? No, that's the bing being where the bang should have been. But how, what does any of this mean that I busted the wrong guy? Perhaps Tyree was with a left-handed man. And yet, the mounting just, just bailed you out. Just out the goodness of his heart. I don't know. Uh -huh. Man, Tyree ain't gonna say nothing. Anything. What? Anything. Tyree ain't gonna say anything. Oh, right. Where'd you go work on your jump shot? I'm worried, Tyree. Got nothing to be worried about, Lou. You doing court in a couple of hours. I want you there. I want this over. I want you to just plead it out. Hey! We got finals tomorrow. Go work on your jump shot, Reggie. 
I really ain't got to be there for you to show your stuff. But Purdue's gonna be there. Hey, Isaiah Thompson's gonna be there. Yeah, right. Nah, for real, everybody says so. Reggie, and you gonna make us all proud. Tyree or no Tyree, this man got business to take care of. Ain't that right, Tyree? Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah, Lou. All right. Tyree, Junior, you a juvie. You gonna do light time, man. I'll look out for your mom, make sure she okay. When you get out, you and me, get you some protection, you be making big money. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas, meet Isaiah Thomas some other time. Thank you. Oh, ma'am. I received a call from Lieutenant Welsh at the Chicago Police Department. Good man, fine commander. He was less enthusiastic about you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. He mentioned that you had bailed out a gang member who's been accused of attempted murder. Yes, ma'am. As a matter of fact, I'm on my way shortly to attend his preliminary hearing. Is there a good reason why you're not standing at attention, Constable? I beg your pardon? You heard me. Yes, I did. Why did you do that? Do what? You moved the garbage can in front of your feet. Did I? Are you hiding something, Constable? No. No, no. Yes. You're wearing sneakers. I lost my boots. They're not yours to lose. I understand that, sir. It was in the process of saving a life. With your boots? No. You see, the seams had become frayed, and to be frank, I was less than enthusiastic about my prior cobbler's mastery of the bindle stitch. Is this going to be a long story, Constable? Quite a long story, yes, ma'am. The life you saved, was this person a Canadian? I shouldn't think so. Then you're paying for the new boots yourself. Understood. It was boom, bang, bing. What? It wasn't bang, bang, bing. It was boom, bang, bing. Look, Benny, I know what I saw. I know what I did. Now I'm going to have to tell that all to the judge, and if it goes against the kid, I can't help that. Ray, please, just try to remember. The sounds are all stored in here, so just clear your mind. Imagine